Hi guys, welcome to the Full Stack React course. In this multi-lesson course, we'll cover a number of full stack practices to help us create a to-do list application. We'll be making use of the MERN stack. This includes MongoDB using their uh, cloud database service Atlas. We're going to use MongoDB to store user information and to-do items. Um, we'll also be making use of Express to build our RESTful API. This is going to allow us to create users, um, create and modify to-dos, and we're even going to cover user authorization. Um, for the front end, we'll be using React. We're going to be making use of functional components and also the React context API for state management. In terms of prerequisites, the course is suited for anyone wanting to learn or refresh their skills on full stack development. Um, prior experience and kind of basic web, uh, web development technologies um, and at least some understanding of React is advised, but the course will be delivered to allow for um, any developers at any level to follow along. In terms of software and, and things like that, um, we are going to make use of, we're obviously going to need Node installed. Um, that's to allow us to install packages and whatnot. Um, we also want Git installed because we're going to be pushing our work to GitHub. And during deployment, we will also be integrating with GitHub um, to um, deploy to Heroku. Um, we also need Postman. Um, Postman is allows us to basically test our API when we're building it. We can make HTTP requests from Postman. Um, it's a really helpful development tool and will help us on the way. We're going to use um, MongoDB Atlas, um, so that's the MongoDB's um, cloud services. So it's advised that you set up a MongoDB Atlas account at the very start, um, so that when we get to it in the tutorial, you guys aren't having to hang back and create that account then. We are going to be using all free tiers during this um, during this tutorial, and during this course, so you don't have to worry about forking out any money. Um, all of it will be using free accounts. This includes Heroku, so I'd recommend setting up a Heroku account. Uh, we'll be using Heroku for deployment and hosting our application. Um, and there's also a few others, um, stuff like Visual Studio Code. It's entirely optional, but we are, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code as my IDE during this um, course. And it's advised to, to follow along, um, to make it easier to follow along. Um, I'd recommend using VS Code, but obviously you can use whatever IDE you want. If you use the same IDE, you can install the same um, extensions I have on VS Code, and they will be outlined in the description below. I've also just set up a um, I've also just set up a Discord server. It's called DevUp Club, um, and we're going to build a community of developers there to provide any support um, for you know working through this um, this course. The invite link will be down in the description. Um, alongside you know helping with the course, we also want to see your guys' progress on any other um, side projects you guys have and whatnot. So feel free to join the Discord server below. So I'm just going to switch over now. Um, we are uh, there is going to be a GitHub um, repo which I'm going to link below. This has the final code. Um, this is the code that we've built during the the whole of the course. It's the exact code. Um, so if you'd follow, if you are struggling at any point in the course, you can kind of jump to this repo. You can check out the file, uh, the file that you need to to fix or to work on, and you can copy the code from there. You can also download and just download it as a zip, or you can uh, clone it here as well. You can get Postman uh, in the prerequisites. I talked about Postman for making HTTP requests. You can get Postman from postman.com. Um, you can go to postman.com forward slash download. I'll also put that in the description below in terms of prerequisites. Um, you may need to create an account. I can't remember if we can uh, use Postman without one, but either way, it's entirely free. Um, MongoDB Atlas, move the hover there. Um, you can basically sign up for a free account at mongodb.com uh, forward slash Atlas. So the product we're going to be using is Atlas, um, and that's going to be used to host our database. We've also got Heroku here. Heroku, again, uh, like I just said, is where we're going to host and deploy our application to. You can get to Heroku at heroku.com. Um, you can sign up for an account, and, and when we get there in the tutorial, I'll talk through how we're going to create a new application on Heroku and deploy to it. So now I'm going to go do a quick demo into the application we'll be building. So as said earlier, it's a basic to-do list app. We're going to cover user authorization. You can log in, you can create um, to-dos, and you can um, edit to-dos, delete to-dos, and all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to log in here. Now I've already created an account. We're going to log in here. So we've got user authorization allowed. If I refresh the screen as well, you can see that user authorization has persisted. Um, we're making use of the context API to store all of our to-dos. These are um, coming down from the database. So I can create a new to-do. So finish full stack course. 
I can then mark that to do as done. I can mark it as undone. I can edit that. So finish full stack courses. I can save that and that's edited that on the fly. I can even delete that to do as well. So that's goes basically going to be the uh, the basis of the application. We're going to build a back end API to allow us to do that. And then all of this um, front end is built on React. I'll catch you guys in the next lesson where we'll be moving straight into project setup. We'll be setting up our node server and we'll be getting our express API running. So I'll leave you guys to it and I'll catch you in the next episode.